You're gonna miss out on your coon. Where's your coon? Well. He's up there. I don't know if you can see him. Max, have you been out here all day? You have. Keeping an eye on that old coon, aren't ya? You see his nose. He's up there listening to us. Max has been running around the base of this tree for quite some time. Everything is all matted down. I came out here earlier. He was laying back there, just looking up. Max is nervous because the coon got shot and he does not like the sound of a uh, gunshot. So he's nervous, so I'm going out back to get the coon with him. Let's go, Max. Let's go. You go get that coon. This is Max, our blue tick coon, and we've had him for about four years. Uh, he he basically rescued him. Um, he was uh, a hunting dog, but he's afraid of uh, gunshot. So a hunter wanted to get rid of him, and we took him in. Uh, but he has been a good dog. I didn't know anything about Boosick Coonhounds before we got him. And our, our previous dog had been a a chocolate lab Labrador retriever and he would swim and retrieve sticks. You can't get this dog to retrieve a stick to save his life. Um, but what he does do is he keeps all the raccoons off of our property. Once he is on the scent of a coon, he, he will tree it and then he will he will stay underneath that tree until something happens. Um, usually it's when the, the coon is shut out of the tree. But he has um, caught coons and killed killed them um, in ditches and he's just relentless. He's tough as nails. It's kind of surprising because when he's not hunting he is the most docile of dogs and um, talk about laying in the sun and snoozing and just very gentle but he has a very high prey drive and when he is on the scent uh, you cannot get him off he is uh, focused on 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 that uh, what he's doing it's really good to get them a collar because of their wanderlust. We did um, lose him for about a week, and the only reason we got him back is because he had a collar on with our phone number on it. <laughs> He's a, a very affectionate dog. Um, he is good with other animals. Um, he was best friends with uh, our male cat, George. Um, he doesn't chase the chickens. He's very curious about um, baby chicks, baby calves, but he, he is um, very good with other animals. And he's a smart dog. He, he's not very good at come, but um, he's pretty good at sit and stay. He knows when you're unhappy with him. He's eager to please. So if he knows you're unhappy with him, he, he wants to make you happy. But he gets his um, name from the ticking in his coat. You can see he's got a black and white coat and he's got these nice black spots. But he has this tan ticking in his leg and then he has tan spots over his eyes. 
but he is very good with children um, very gentle he is a very high energy dog um, he should have lots of exercise and he will go out on runs with me he can easily run 25 miles or more uh, no problem just got to make sure you feed him enough after putting in miles like that Max what are you doing you looking for that cat is that cat under the chicken coop? Huh? You think you would want to go on a run with me? Yeah? Oh. It's your best friend, George. Okay, well, I'm going to leave now. We can't have you come because then you stay out and chase raccoons and then I have to go get you. So it's just not going to work. Okay. Are you ready to go? Huh? You want to go running? One thing we have noticed with this dog is that um, we have had to take him to the vet quite a bit. Uh, he gets into things because of his prey drive. Uh, he, once he had a very uh, bad cut in his paw. We don't know how he got it. We don't know what he stepped on. Um, and then we've had some other, I think he got pneumonia once, um, so we've had a few vet bills for him, but, uh, he is a good companion, um, I go running with him, and a lot of times he is in the bushes and in the ditches, kind of doing his own thing, but... I've had it before where I've tripped when I've been on a run and he he came back um, to see if I was okay, or at least that's how I took it. And other times um, when I'm running, he'll, he'll run ahead, but he'll wait at the next intersection for, for me. And I'm running on country roads, so there's no traffic or very little traffic, so I don't have to worry about him on, on the roads. He does not have a very good conception of roads and cars and trucks and the danger that is out there, so you have to be careful with him. But living out in the country is a pretty good life for this dog.